Hi, this is Greg with Engaging Teacher. I'm starting a new TPT store and guiding me through the process will be Rebecca. She started her TPT store over five years ago and has agreed to answer my questions and share her experiences running an online business. Okay, now that I have my store set up, you told me I need to start thinking about a logo. What would you suggest and how do you go about doing that? Well, your logo can be lots of different things. If you look at your store, what you've got now, you just have the store name and then you have the generic TPT filler that they put in here. So let's take a look at a couple different ways that people do this. And really, whatever you want to put in here is fine. Okay. It's totally your choice. So Deanna Jump has a picture of her smiling face. Kara Carroll, she's got, um, again, a picture of her and then her little um, logo or store information across the bottom. This store has a cute little giraffe. Her store name is Miss Giraffe and then the name of her store. This store has the name of her store as well with a more standard logo. So you can essentially create your own logo and we'll do that today. We'll show everybody how we created yours together. Okay. But if you're not comfortable with that because it can be very time consuming, especially in the beginning, um, you can come in here and actually even on TPT, there's people that will do it for you. Oh, okay. So up at the top, I just create uh, entered custom logo design and you can see here, people will give you a quote and they will let you know um, what they will be able to do for you. Now, many of these people do book up. So if it's something that you want, you might want to find who you like, whose style you like, and then get on their wait list. All right. But there's not really a shortage of people that can do it for you. Um, many of these people also will do your social media. So if you're going to start getting into Instagram and all of those things, it'll be um, some other stuff for that. If you're going to have a website, they can help you with that design. It just depends. They all have different specialties that they work in. Okay, but since we're trying to do this on a budget, we're trying to do everything that we can for free, you can also design your own logo. Yes, you can do that in PowerPoint. Okay. So this was the logo that we came up with for you. Okay. And we're gonna walk through with the audience how we created that. All right. Okay. So the first thing is it's a circle. So you need to have a circle. So you're gonna start out and insert a shape. And a lot of people come and they start here with the oval and then they try to resize it. But if you scroll down into the flow chart, it gives you a perfect circle from the start. Ah, okay. And then come up here though and make sure that it is the same width and height. Okay. okay. It doesn't have to be a certain width and height, it just has to be the same. I see. All right. So now, Really, the sky's the limit. What, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do. If you're going to start thinking about putting like clip art in here, make sure that that's okay per the terms of use. Okay. Because not every clip art artist allows that. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, for yours, let me bring over the original one that we did here. I'm just going to copy that so I can remember what it was that we did. We decided that we wanted to have some sort of, and I'm sorry, I am not in graphic design, I don't know all the terms, but some sort of picture that when people saw it, they thought of your brand. We didn't know what that was, so we just honestly started playing around. So I'm gonna open up a new slide here, and bring this down with us. And we just started playing. So we did insert a shape, And again, I want it to be square, so make sure that it's same width, length and width. Okay. And your colors are black and white, so we just did a black square. And then quite honestly, we just started playing around. Um, we started inserting other shapes. We wanted some circles in there. And again, same size. 
and since your colors are black and white. So we put it on there and we're like, oh, that's kind of big. So we just tried and we resized it at one inch for each one. I'm like, oh, that might be okay. But what else are we gonna do with that? Well, let's put in another shape and see what happens. So we inserted a rectangle. And again, we made it white. And we thought, well, why not a triangle too? We had no idea what we were doing at this point. <laughs> we're just moving stuff around to see what felt good. So I'm like, well, can we make a house and a little thing? And eventually after playing and just turning things and moving them, and you can see here with this yellow dot, you can move your triangle to make it all your different kinds of triangles. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can turn it around. And I think that's what we wound up doing. We put it here. It might have been a little bit bigger. And again, this is all just playing. And then we thought, well, how about some more circles? So we added those. And we're like, well, that looks kind of weird. But what if we resized it? Made, let's make this one a little bit bigger. And we kind of liked that. And then we made this one smaller. So it was honestly just playing. And I don't know, how long do you think that took us to do? A couple hours at the most? Yeah. And that was just also with me teaching you and, and going over it. But it really is just playing around and seeing what it is that you like. And then we could certainly resize these to be bigger or we could just make the box smaller if that's all you want. And we chose this because Yes, it needs to be a circle for TPT, but there are other platforms out there where you're gonna want squares or rectangles. So committing yourself solely to a circle can be kind of frustrating. Okay. Okay, so all said and done, this is the logo that we came up with. That was so. quick and easy when you know what you wanna do. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna sit here for two hours and make you watch me fiddle with it. Right. <laughs> All right, so one of the things um, with the circle is we wanna make sure that whatever color it is, that it's gonna stand out or go together. Um, so you again have black and white. So if I just did a white, the white edges really wouldn't stand out. So let's make a black outline. However, this is kind of a wimpy outline. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what did we finally decide on? I'm just going to bring this whole thing over so I can replicate it. Let me make that smaller. All right, so I know what my finished product should look like. So we started out here and we're like, well, that's too skinny. And so let's go and edit our shape. And again, we're going to make the weight. But even as big as I can get it here, this six point is still too small. So I'm going to go to more lines. And that's going to allow me to really beef it up. Okay. And I like just to use the arrow because I can see it growing until... Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I could certainly have this solid outline. That's totally fine. Um, but you also have some other types. You can do this compound, and it will show you the two lines. And then in different thicknesses and in different places. Oh, okay. okay. That's how you did it. Okay. Yep. And so that is how we finally landed on that look. And then we just inserted your logo. And then we decided to put your store name underneath here as well. One thing with the font is, yes, you want it to be interesting and eye-catching, but not so swirly and cute that people can't read it. Okay. You want them to be able to see what it is. So all you do here is insert a text box and follow all the same rules of design. So engaging teacher, cannot spell. And we will choose our font. I believe 
You had a kg. Yep, shake it off. And then just make it as big as you want. And there you go. Okay. So, I mean, it can be that easy, or it can be as difficult as you want it to be. Right. So, it's really, can you get in there and make a decision? Do you know what you want? Um, and then going through, I would make several different options. Um, let me kind of show you, just so the people at home can see this wasn't our only thing. So, we started, and we had that option which we didn't think that the font would be thick enough. Mm -hmm. um, this one we liked, the cleanness of it, but again, with the cursive, we didn't know if that would be something that people could immediately read. Okay, and so, that's just a preference of ours, Personal right? preference, yeah. I mean, somebody might love this, and that's totally fine. I mean, it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's just what you preferred. And since it's your store, that's what matters. We also tried a few down here with different fonts, and that's how you wound up choosing that one. Right. Okay. Um, we also wanted to see what the logo would look like in a circle in case we needed it, and it looked fine. Because this way you can just put this logo on there, and ideally, you know, it'd be like Coca Cola, and everybody will know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little ways off, right? <laughs> right. Taking over the world. <laughs> Um, and so here you can kind of see what it looks like with a white background with a black outline. So it looks good in any number of ways that you do it. And so we keep these in case we want to change it later yeah. or add it different at different media sites or Exactly. Platforms. And so we did this one here because we really liked this look, but again, it was pretty thin, but maybe, maybe later on a blog post or, you know, somewhere in Instagram, you never know when it might come up and it's only saved in a PowerPoint file. It's not taking up that much room. Okay. So keep it and you know, worst thing, maybe you'll never use it. Maybe you will. Okay. Okay. So this was the logo you want. Now you need to save it as a picture. So you're going to highlight everything inside and you're going to copy it. I'm going to make a new slide here. And when you paste it, you can paste it as with the little A, but that's going to paste it as all the separate components. You want to paste it as a picture. Okay. Okay. And now let's save it. Right click, save as picture. And let's just save that to the desktop. Okay. So here it is. This is the PowerPoint that we were using. I saved it as a PNG file. You can also save it as a JPEG. Either way will be fine. Okay. But now we need to add it to your store. So there's the little person that you have now. And that's where the logo is going to go. That's where it'll go. All right. So we're going to go to my account store profile. Okay. Okay. And I've spent hours up here clicking. I'm like, well, I want to work because you have to go down to edit. <laughs> All right. I forget it every time. So this is where you put in your store name and your quote box, all of the different areas that you teach. We want to replace that photo. And we're going to choose the photo that we want. We want our logo photo. And you can see here, these are the file types that are supported and it's got a file size, five megabytes. Okay. Let's do preview to see what it'll look like. Make sure it looks good. Looks like, is it on the edge? Yep. Let's save. And save. Now let's go to your store. There you are. Wow, look at that. Fancy.